Would you give me your name, rank, and branch of service? Yes. My name is Connie Daggs. I was an E5 in the Army. Dates of service, 88 to 94. What is your connection to Southwest Virginia? I was born here back in 1955. <laughs> How and why did you enter the military? I always had a desire to go into military. I first wanted to go into the Air Force, but at that time I was too old for the Air Force, so the Army took me. <laughs> so what were some of the jobs that you performed while serving? I was in supply, and I was the unit armor. I took care of the weapons and everything like that and ordered supplies for, this, for, the, for the company. Where were some of the places that you lived and how did you stay in touch with your family and friends? I first was uh, sent to Korea of all places. That was my first duty station when I enlisted into the Army and I was kind of had trepidation because I was the first time out of the country. Um, I stayed there for a year and then went to Fort Hood, Texas. Um, from there, Desert Storm hit. We went to Desert Storm, and from there, we went to Fort Campbell. The unit moved from Fort Hood to Fort Campbell. That was my last duty station. So, share a memorable experience from your military service, whether serious or lighthearted. <laughs> I have several. <laughs> Oh, goodness, where do I start? I was in desperation for some kind of familiarity. So I had to pray to God to show me some things. And I was able to see he, a friend that come past me. And it was, it was crazy, but this is the answer to prayer. A dear friend of mine that I saw. And uh, just happened to be passing and passing. And we recognized each other. And it was the most well-deserved answer of prayer I, I can I can remember. But it was wonderful. And I just thank God for that. Where were you? Huh? Where were you? To get where I was. And, and okay, so finally, what message would you like to pass on to the next generation about military service? I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to leave your stamp here in America as a member of the armed services. Just go and just experience what that is. And you'll be doing the nation a service by serving others. I think that we need to do that at least once in our lifetime to join whatever military service you're led to do. And I think that would be wonderful to do that for your country. Thank you.